Hello and welcome to the day's episode of Focus Atlanta. I am your host, Keisha Lancelin. Thanks so much for tuning in with us this Sunday afternoon. In our first segment, we're gonna talk a little bit with the parents. I'm here with Dr. Russell of Science Moms and we're gonna talk about teaching the kids and being prepared for issues about climate change. Thank you, Dr. Russell, for coming back on the show. I'm so glad to be here. Thank you for having me. What I love about Science Moms is that it gives us nuggets and pieces of information that, it's, that are easy to digest and easy for us to, you know, give back out. It, you know, tell me a little bit about what you guys do. So this is, uh, you can check us out at sciencemoms.com, but the whole point is you should be able to learn about, sci about the science of climate change and what we can do about it and how we can talk to our kids about it in little tiny chunks that you can actually listen to while you're sitting in the carpool line at pickup. Okay. <laughs> as moms and as climate scientists, you know, we're a nonpartisan group that's kind of joined forces to try and reach out to other moms and grandmas and aunties and uncles and dads and everybody else to try and help us get ready for what's coming with climate change and, you know, make it make it more uh, accessible, but always in little chunks that you can get right in the carpool pickup line. That's what I love. It's, it's easy to consume, therefore it's easy for us to work with, easy for us to learn about. And in, in many ways, um, learning more are better ways for us to protect our kids. That's right. So we've got two new PSAs that we're releasing for this year's Earth Day uh, to help raise awareness of how climate change is worsening climate weather extremes, which we've all been experiencing. It doesn't matter whether you're in Georgia, you're in Arizona, you are experiencing some of the, the big changes, which could be flooding. It could be heat waves in the summer. It could be things like uh, wildfire and wildfire smoke, which I wouldn't normally think that you guys would experience, but I hear you did. Yeah, it. I mean, again, it's smoke. It it travels. <laughs> it sure does. I got. I I've heard from folks from you know Michiganders who were like, "What's all this Canadian smoke doing in our state?" And uh, out here in Arizona, of course, we have our very own wildfires. And Texas got absolutely whacked last year. So we have these two new PSAs that are basically talking about how climate change is. If we don't take action right now, which we can and we are, and it's having a real impact, if we don't do this quickly, we're gonna start losing our favorite summer activities, our favorite campground, our favorite watering hole, our favorite, you know, favorite place to swim or hike or camp or just get out there. And I, I grew up running around outdoors and I want that for my kids. And I worry one of my favorite places is Glacier National Park. And uh, I'm worried that for my kids, it might just be National Park. Oh, wow. And you know what, what you said, I wanna you know just rewind a little bit because what's so important is that there is something that we can do. That's part of it for a lot of people. They're like, oh, you know, oh gosh, here we are, you know. There's nothing really we could do. And that's just not true. But if you learn more, if you, you know, get more information. No. Yeah, exactly. You can figure out what there your role can so be. Much. So we're that's right. And it's really easy and it's really obvious. In fact, my kids are the ones who are showing me the way on a lot of these things. But the three things we tell everybody is to swap, share, and speak up. And these are things that absolutely <clears throat> everyone can do. Swapping means move away from carbon polluting things towards non-carbon polluting things whenever you get the chance. Now that could be thrifting or vintage where we're, you know, keeping things from getting to the landfill and new to us, which is always fun and save a buck. I'll just say my kids love this, but also things like when you, if you're in the market for a new stove, don't, don't buy a gas one, buy, buy an electric. You know, go go induction so your you know your baby can put your hand on the on the stove and it wouldn't even burn them anymore. You know, these are amazing things now. Whenever you can swap, also share because we need better information from all of us. All of the great, important, good things you're doing to help uh, be more sustainable and uh, you know save a buck and save the planet. Everyone wants to hear about this, so blow up your group chat. You know, put it on Facebook. Let everybody know. Share what you're doing. 
And then, of course, there's speak up. We all need to speak up, whether it's I've had to actually talk to our Tucson Unified School District because they weren't taking advantage of the new Inflation Reduction Act subsidies for uh, electric school buses. I hate sitting behind those big belching you know, buses <laughs> full of back smoke. It's so gross. Yeah. And so we're getting... 50 new electric school buses right here in my school district. I hope that's happening for you too. Around the it's so important. To, yep, swap, share, speak up. We can all do this. We can all do this. Dr. Russell, it is a pleasure to have you on. Each and every time I talk to you, there's a li another little nugget of information that I'm reminded of that we could, you know, play a part. Um, thank you for your time today. Thanks for having me. And check us out at sciencemoms.com. Absolutely. ScienceMoms.com. Take the opportunity to go to the website, learn more, and stay tuned for more Focus Atlanta. We'll be right back. <laughs>